Hi and welcome to Air Guns of Arizona's product showcase. I'm Kip and today we're going to be displaying the Daystate Huntsman Classic. It's a new rifle from Daystate. Comes with a fully shrouded barrel, threaded muzzle end. Comes standard with sling swivels already installed. It has a nice walnut Monte Carlo stock with a raised cheek piece, nice checkering, and the day state emblem in the stock is a nice touch. Weighing in at 5.7 pounds, the day state Huntsman Classic shoulders very easily and feels more like a contemporary rifle. They shorten the rifle down to make it look and feel more like a contemporary rifle. The air tube has been powder coated brown to blend in with the stock. Like all day states, it has a quick fill air adapter with a dust cover. Comes standard with a barrel band, 10 shot magazine. The features on the day state air rifles are always top notch. The safety is very easily accessible, very easily operated. It is now in the safe position, it's now in the fire position. Back to the safe position. Very easily accessed with light pressure it's easily engaged as with every day state rifle the fit and finish is perfect no machine marks in the metal the wood fits very nicely and with the addition of the new Harper valve the gun uses less air which helps the shot consistency your shot string will be tighter and it also lessens the report of the gun on the Huntsman classic it comes with the day state two-stage adjustable trigger very fine trigger. It also comes with the air gauge mounted in the bottom of the stock. You'll always be able to tell what fill pressure you're at. On the day state magazine as you're pulling the bolt back the magazine will start to actuate. It only actuates halfway. When you're going back forward it completes the round so you can put a fresh pellet in. With the single shot tray that comes standard with the rifle it has two pins that lock it in place they go to the rear of the rifle. The two magnets go to, toward the forward part of the breech and fasten onto the screws. That's what holds it in place. It snaps in very easily. The gun's now ready to shoot in single shot mode. Single shot mode with this tray allows you to use different pellets that may not fit in the clip. There are certain pellets that need to be shot single shot and some that just won't fit. It's easily removed by picking it straight up, sliding it straight out. Now you're ready for your Daystate 10 shot magazine to slide back in. The Daystate Huntsman Classic comes standard with an 11 millimeter dovetailed rail for your scope mounts. The gun can also be ordered with optional open sights. All Daystate rifles come with a standard three year factory warranty. For this rifle on this field test, when we go out to the range with it, we're going to install the new 3 to 10 Nico Sterling. It has a one inch tube, side wheel focus, standard duplex crosshair, very crisp, very clean scope. We'll give it a test with the rifle out on the range. Welcome back to the range. Today we've got the Daystate Huntsman, a brand new short carbine rifle from Daystate. We'll bring it out here and do some tests with it and see how it'll perform. 
we'll give it the usual velocity and energy test. Shoot it for groups at 20 yards and at 50 yards and see how it handles. First, we're gonna start by filling it. Take the dust cap off, attach the quick connect hose connector, closing my hose bleed. Slowly fill my gun. This gun takes a 230 bar fill. The gun is full. I'll bleed the hose off. Remove my hose adapter. Replace my dust cap. First things we're gonna do, we're gonna check the trigger release weight. One pound, five ounces. Not bad, pretty light trigger. Now we're gonna do a, a sound test on the Daystate Huntsman Classic. The first test we did was 30 inches from the muzzle, slightly forward and to the side of the muzzle. One hundred and three point nine decibels was the average. The second test we did was at the ear of the shooter. The third test we did was from twenty feet away, standing directly to the side of the gun. The ambient noise on the day of our test was 68 decibels. This one we're going to do a, a velocity test and we're going to use the JSB Exact Express. It's a 14.3 grain pellet. We'll see what the velocity range is with that on the first test. All right, I've got the clip loaded. We'll give the JSB Express as a chance first and see what they do for velocity. On the JSB Express 14.3 grains, we had an average of 846.7 feet per second. That gave us energy of 22.85 foot pounds. Okay, now we've got five Kodiak pellets in there. We're gonna shoot five shots through the chronograph. The Kodiak weighs 21 grains. It'll measure the energy, the foot pounds of energy of the gun. On the Beeman Kodiak, we had 708.9 foot per second. That gave us 23.55 foot pounds, which puts the gun in the advertised range, 23 to 25 foot pounds of energy. Now that we've got our velocity and energy test done, we'll take it to 20 yards on the target and see what kind of groups we can get. First pellet we're gonna start with is a 21 grain Beeman Kodiak. Very nice tight group with the Kodiak, 21 grain. Now I'm gonna try the JSB Exact Express, 14.3 grain pellet. You know what, there's a fly sitting on the target. I'm gonna see if I can shoot that fly. Let's go down and see what we got. <laughs> All right, the Demon Kodiak, center to center group. Looks like we've got a 0 0.290, maybe a 0 0.300 at the most. The JSB Express 14.3, we are looking at about a 0 0.177. And as for the fly, 
he left his departure mark right there. So we did get the fly. Pretty good accuracy shooting flies at 20 yards. We're gonna try a 50 yard group, first pellet in the Daystate Huntsman. We're gonna try the JSB Express 14.3 grain. That's a really great group at 50 yards. Pretty incredible group at 50 yards. Center to center, looks like a .305. That's at 50 yards for the Day State Huntsman Classic and 22 caliber. All right, now we're gonna take the Beeman Kodiak 21 grain and see what kind of group we can get at 50 yards with a heavy pellet. Not a bad group for a heavy pellet at 50 yards. Here's the Beeman Kodiak, a heavier pellet. Flying a little slower, a little longer flight time. Looks like we've got center to center, 0.797. That's again at 50 yards. Beeman Kodiak, 21 grain. All right, we're gonna give something a try here. We've got the brand new JSB pellet. It's an 18 grain pellet. It's the same design as the Exact Express and the Exact Jumbo. This is the only 10 that we know of that's in the United States. We're gonna give it a try and see what kind of groups we have. We've never shot this pellet, so let's see what it does at 50 yards with the Daystate Huntsman Classic. Wow, that's impressive through the scope. If this pellet performs like that in other guns, it's gonna be a true winner. Let's go down and get a closer look. Now new, now for our new JSB 18 grain test pellet. Looks like here we've got about, right at about a half inch, 0 .501. 50 yard group with the new 18 grain JSB. We've got four pellets lined up here just to show you a little bit of size difference. Everybody always asks when we're in the showroom. This pellet right here is a 22 caliber, 21 grain Beeman Kodiak. This pellet right here is a brand new JSB 18 grain exact, soon to be on the market. This pellet is the 16 grain JSB that everybody knows quite well. And this pellet on the end is the 14.3 JSB Express Diablo. Well that concludes our test on the range today with the Day State Huntsman Classic and 22 caliber. It's definitely a gun you want to add to your collection. Until next time, shoot straight. Clear firing with that valve. Bleh. <laughs> I'm locked up. I'm asleep today. <laughs> Cut. Let's do it over. <laughs> I know, I think our cameraman's lit. I'm having a hard enough time as it is and you're not helping. <laughs>